What is Hetrofa? Well, Hetrofa is an herb, a shrub, even a tree. Its origins are believed to be from Central and South America. Historically, the uses are anything from medicinal purposes to heating oil, lamp oil, even uh, soap products. There's over 1,500 species of Hetrofa that exist today. The density and resiliency of the tree makes for an incredible natural fence. The slight toxicity and smell deters animals from food crops around the globe. In fact, one of the life-saving qualities is it keeps elephants out of rural homes in Africa. One of the specific varieties is Citrofa curcus, and it's drawing a lot of attention from around the globe as the new hope for bioenergy. Hetrofa curcus is considered to be carbon neutral and has many applications around the world. When properly cultivated, Hetrofa curcus produces a fruit, and inside that fruit is a seed. That seed contains anywhere from 40 to 45 percent oil by mass, one of the best biodiesel oils on the market today. That's the new hope. Petrofa Kirkus is a perennial crop, yielding significant harvest by its third full year. By year five, it's fully mature. Has a lifespan between 35 and 50 years. Surprisingly enough, this isn't the first time it's been used as a fuel source. As World War II intensified and the shortage of fuel became serious, the Japanese troops forced Indonesians and Taiwanese to grow Hetrofa for their use as fuel. But as the war ended, those plantations were abandoned. In modern times, with the recent world's energy crisis, reliability on fossil fuels, global warming, and the overall push for sustainability, GFE Global and many others believe Hetrofa Kirkus is a viable answer to many of these concerns. Hetrofa absorbs CO2 when it's cultivated. Although it emits CO2 when it's burned as a fuel, the total CO2 level doesn't increase. That's why this bioenergy is considered to be carbon neutral. The scale at which Hetrofa needs to be cultivated in order to be a significant source for the world's fuel supply, Hetrofa would significantly impact the reduction of CO2 levels worldwide. One of the most significant characteristics of Hetrofa Kirkus is its ability to grow on marginal land and not compete for food crop like corn and soybean. Hetrofa uses far less water than other crops, and its slight toxicity actually helps to reduce the need for pesticides during cultivation. In fact, the actual propagation of the plant helps to provide an increase in the quality of the soil during its life cycle. The leaves will fall on the ground naturally as a process, and the high nitrogen content in the leaves actually helps to bring back nutrients to the soil. Hetrofa is an exceptionally resilient crop. That's how it made it to Africa and to Asia. In the 16th century, the Portuguese merchants discovered its medicinal qualities and its ability to live and survive out of the ground without water for months and thus surviving a long ocean journey. Hetrofa does have its limitations. It does not take to a hard freeze and doesn't like a lot of water. So what is Hetrofa? We've given you a lot of history today. I think the better question might be, what will Hetrofa become? GFE Global believes Hetrofa quite possibly will be our solution to the world's future fuel and energy needs. Thank you very much. Oh wait, you know, we pruned these things about two months ago. Let me ask you this, right? Is that dead? I mean, this looks dead. To me, that's dead. It's been out here for two and a half, three months in the hot Costa Rican sun. Now this is a great example of what we'll do with these sticks is we'll cut the end off again, stick it in the ground, water in a couple of weeks, it'll have leaves again. We'll be using this as a fence, maybe even keeping those elephants out of your house. <laughs>